Go. I'll cover you. No, you were right. The warden caused this mess. A warden must... A warden must help them rebuild. That's your job. Corypheus is mine. Hawk. Say goodbye to Varric for me. No demon army for Corypheus, it appears. The divine, or her spirit, was right. You know that's not how they see it, though. And they just saw their Inquisitor work another miracle. They came out of this alive. As far as I'm concerned, they can tell whatever stories they like. I suppose the Inquisitor and his warden friend escaped by the skin of their teeth wouldn't be as good for morale. Inquisitor. The Archdemon flew off as soon as you disappeared. The Venatori Magister is unconscious but alive. Cullen thought you might wish to deal with him yourself. As for the Wardens, those who weren't corrupted helped us fight the demons. We stand ready to help make up for Clorel's tragic mistake. We've seen no sign of Hawk since the ledge collapsed, Inquisitor. We assumed she was with you. Hawk sacrificed her life to save us and strike a decisive blow against Corypheus. She gave her life not because she'd sworn an oath or been marked as special, but because someone had to do it. Alistair, you're the senior surviving Grey Warden. What do we do now? You leave. You're still vulnerable to Corypheus. And we've lost enough people already fighting corrupted wardens. By the authority of the Inquisition, you are banished from Southern Thedas. All of them? Is that even possible? Hope we don't need them later. Alistair will oversee your return to the Warden Fortress at White House. Yes, Your Worship. Your Worship, I would stay, if you allow it, and continue our fight. The banishment applies to all wardens. I understand, Inquisitor. You've already created something big with this Inquisition. I wish you luck leading. Did I ever tell you about the time Hawk was on a merchant guild hit list? Tough. Hawk's uncle got into an investment scheme with a couple of merchant caste businessmen. They took a lot of people's coin in order to arrange the import of wandering hills from the Anderfell. A delicacy, I'm told. Their weird foreign foodstuffs arrived alive, and one of them, true to its name, wandered off in the middle of the night. Guild uh, traced the shipments to Hawk's uncle, but uh, as usual, he was 
so far and dead he couldn't see daylight. So they went after Hawk instead. They sent guys from the local Carter to Hawk's estate one night. Five big dusters, armed to the teeth. They kick in the door, and Hawk yells, You're just in time! And drags them over to a game of wicked grace. They play two hands of cards before the city guard showed up to take them away. A couple of them became regulars in our weekly game. Hawk just had that effect on people. I... I always wanted to tell that one. Thanks. I guess I've got some letters to write. Isabella should know. Excuse me. <laughs>